Hi, God bless everyone. I pray that everyone who celebrated the Feast of Purim and Sabbath had an excellent time. We had a very great time in worship. Praise be to God. I did have a couple of dreams. I wasn't going to share any of them, but now I'm thinking I might share the first one that I had. Praise be to God, because I just thought they were personal, but I'll probably release this one first. So anyway, let me get into this dream I just had. I had a really quick flash dream. You know how you see those cartoons back in the day. I don't know if they still do this now. Well, you'll see a godly angel on one side of the shoulder and a demonic angel on the other shoulder. And that's how it was in this dream. I felt like I was a giant. I don't know. Maybe I was regular size, but it just felt like I was a giant because they were so tiny. And I literally had a female angel on one shoulder and I had a demonic angel on the other shoulder and they both wanted to tell me something. And in the dream, I made a respectful decision to hear what they both had to say. But let me throw this out there right now. I'm not saying that you should listen to what demons and devils have to say. But in this dream, I listened to what they both had to say. And when I finished listening to what they had to say, I chose to listen to the good angel. And I leaned my head towards the good angel. You know, I just made this decision. I'm going to listen to the good angel. Anyway, the dream then announced to me, you passed. And I was upset in the dream. Now I'm still in the dream. I started getting angry because I was like, I'm so sick and tired of these demonic test dreams because I've had a lot of them lately and it's really getting on my nerves. Now on the Feast of Purim, praise be to God, I had some really great dreams that wasn't demonic test dreams at all. One of them I do plan to share because I think it can benefit the church. But the other one I think was just personal. But anyway, I was like, I'm tired of all of these demonic test dreams. And I started getting mad. And then I saw a very quick flash vision of the Lord. And he gave me two songs. And one of them really shocked me. One of them is called Be Encouraged by William Beckton. And I had to look this up because I have not heard that song probably in 30 years. I grew up with that song. You know, they used to sing it on the radio. But I have not heard that song in probably 30 years. And the song was playing in the dream. And then the next song that started playing in the dream was Fight On. And I was shocked. I was like, what on earth? These two songs just started playing in the dream. And so when I woke up, I immediately went to listen to Be Encouraged because I haven't heard that one in like 30 years. Now, Fight On, I have heard recently. And so anyway, I went and looked up Be Encouraged lyrics and... That's why I'm recording this. I didn't even record this dream when I had it because I was upset. Most demonic test dreams I don't record at all. And I definitely don't release. And I wasn't going to record this one. But I heard in my spirit that I need to release this dream because it can help people because of those songs that I was given. Because of the lyrics. And I was like, really? So I pray that you receive this in Jesus name. So I want to read the first lyrics of be encouraged, be encouraged. No matter what's going on, he'll make it all right. But you got to stay strong. I know right now it's impossible to see, but God is going to work it out. If you just believe, remember this one thing while you're going through, if God delivered Daniel, he'll do the same for you. Hold on. Trouble don't last always. These trials are just a test, just a test of your faith. So stand strong and dry your weeping eyes because joy comes in the morning and everything is going to be all right. So that was the first one. Praise be to God. Now I want to go over the lyrics in the second song, Fight On. And I'll put links to these songs in the description box. And this one said, In this walk, we face many battles, but they're not yours. They belong to the Lord. Put on the armor of God. Delight yourself in His Word. Don't give up the fight. It's too late to give up now. Don't give up the fight. So be encouraged, my brother. Hold on, my sister. 
There is a way of escape for you and for me. Be strong. Stand on his word. God has promised to fight every one of your battles. Back to the war was won by Jesus on a hill called Calvary, where he gave his life for you and me. Dry your eyes, don't you cry. Everything is gonna be all right. Now weeping may endure for a night, but hold on. Joy is coming in the morning time. Fight on, fight on, fight through the rain, fight through the pain, fight when you're up, fight when you're down, fight through your tears, pass through those fears. We've already won the battle. You've got to fight on. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hey, but that's all right. That's all right. We've already won. The Lord is walking by your side. Everything is all right. Fight on. God is with us. You've got to fight on. Fight on. Fight on. Amen. And we just have to hold on. The battle is raging on, but we've got the soldier up. I love you so much. Bye.